When we meet someone for the first time, we lie about three times in about 10 minutes. The average person does. Now, most of those lies are not terrible lies. They're things we say to basically smooth the social situation. And ingratiate oh, ourselves. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, you're right. Um, you look terrific. Oh, I love that movie, too. So in most cases, we're not doing this with any uh, anything other than benign intent. But if a relationship continues, then it's been based on some lies. And um, how long do we have to sustain those? Will it affect the relationship later on? I think all these lies eventually affect the relationship. I mean, it's, it's a kind of slippery slope in which we start off with these benign kinds of lies, and it becomes easier and easier to lie to, to other people. Well, were the participants in your study always aware of when they were lying? Not at all. Would they that, have called it lying? No, no, not at all. It's, it, it's a very interesting phenomenon. When we went back. We, we had people who were unacquainted talk to each other for 10 minutes, and then I said, okay, watch yourself. We, we videotaped you. Watch yourself and tell us any instances in which you were not entirely accurate. Invariably, people said, oh, I was totally accurate. I didn't lie. I, I, and then they'd watch, and they'd listen, and they'd say, oh, well, that wasn't right, and that wasn't true. So, But would they call it a lie or an inaccuracy? Well, they would call it. They they admitted eventually that they were they were lies, and I mean that's what a lie is something that that you don't believe. And the thing that was was really interesting was that they were unaware of it when it happened, and afterwards they barely felt bad about it. They said, "Well, this is what everybody does." Is this something that continues as a relationship goes on? Well, I think yes. Um, certainly, the social niceties continue. And depending on the kind of relationship, they can continue for a long period of time. Now, when we're in a relationship for a very long period of time, usually the, the lies decline. But when there are lies in long-term relationships, they do tend to be very large ones. Uh, the, because uh, they're the ones that, they, that we feel are really going to mess up things if they're, we tell the truth. Yes, they're going to mess up the relationship and they're going to be... They're going to know something about me that they shouldn't know or I'm well, doing this secret thing. Well, the ultimate thing is, is um, infidelity when people will... will th that's the lie no one's going to admit to unless they're, they're caught. And we see one instance after another of politicians who come forward and admit... Um, almost always after they've been caught, that, that they have been unfaithful. So it's something that we see over and over in, in the public realm, and I think it creates a kind of expectation that infidelity is a major problem. And the, the thing that is most shocking about those politicians is the hypocrisy of the whole thing, because they often are people who um, talk about not doing that sort of thing. Do you think that they think of themselves as honest, even though they are committing these kinds of lies? I think people are very, very good at compartmentalizing their lives. And they say, say, in most realms, I am a good person. I'm an honest person. There is this one aspect of my life that I am uh, not so good at and, and um, probably don't even feel that bad about it. But certainly Madoff is an example of someone who got caught up in lies, who started out in a small way and the lie began to snowball and eventually got out of control. Um, I think he probably thought of himself as a, as a good man in the sense he was a, a, a family man and, and people who knew him liked him very much. But ultimately, he created this uh, set of circumstances that hurt many, many people. So, you know, is he sitting in jail right now and saying, well, I, I'm a terrible person? I, I'm not so sure. Is context important? Do we lie about different things depending on what we think other people want to hear? Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, w people who are socially skilled know what the person they're talking to wants to hear. So there's a real temptation, if you are socially skilled, to tell others um, exactly what it is that, that they would like to hear about themselves. Now, again, this is certainly not something that we want to see in, in our society, but it's something that we accept as, and call them little white lies. My, my sense is that these lies in, in some ways are just as bad as, as bigger lies because every lie does create an environment of distrust. And if you're the liar, you somehow feel sullied by that, that lie. And I think that's going to affect your relationship with other people. So if you say to somebody the meal was delicious when you thought it wasn't, then you're hurting people? I think ultimately you're hurting. You look great in that dress? 
I, I think ultimately you're creating a situation which is based on some degree of deception. Now, is it terrible? Is it going to um, ruin the relationship ultimately? No. But I think it does make it easier for you to lie in the future.